Hello everybody, it's Doug here and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness playthrough, 100% of course. And you may notice we're not where we set off where we ended last time in the Real Gem Tower. So basically what I've done is I went to um, Phoenix City and stocked up, so we've got 40 Ultrables now. Lots of full uh, high potions, lots of, plenty of revives, all that sort of good stuff. Um... So now we're basically ready to go. Let's go up to where we left it off. Look at this. Right, the ball. Okay. That's not very nice. Oh, it's about maybe. We'll take. We'll look at this one first. It's meant to be the wall. Aha! <laughs> Down we go. The rock. Ooh. Where does this take us now? Ooh, I like them. Found two max potions, lovely. Back up. And perfect timing to meet the other one. Jump it now. We'll go down this one when it comes back up. Okay, all right, and let's go down there. Down the path, then. Oh, dropping from the ceiling. Here we go. Cypher Peon Jamie. Starting off with a Yanima and a Resselia. Of course, starting off with a Houndoom and our Altaria. Oh, he is nearly ready to be purified. So we'll go with a, a flamethrower on bow on Yanma. And we'll go for an aerial ace on Resselia as a starting point. Let's see what we can do. Not left on one HP for a change, that's nice. <laughs> Boom. Decent XP there for how do you? Schmeagel. We'll do an aerial ace to see what this does. Oh yeah. Decent amount. Oh, we all know one shot. Wow, we're getting lucky here. Look how vile bloom, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk a fire blast on Bar Blue, and I'm gonna go for a shadow break on Schmeagle. Yes, lovely. Kaboom! Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's just got one attack off yet. Right, that might be a problem. You know, tired because we've got nothing to counter. Well, I've got one thing to counter. It. <gasps> what the? Why does that thing have Giga Drain? I mean, it did one damage, but why does that thing have Giga Drain? That thing needs to die because I need to bring out um, Celio to deal with that Altaria. Jesus, Mother of Christ, that did a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Well, we'll go for a Shadow Ball on Altaria. I don't think that's going to do a lot, and we'll do a Shadow Rave. See, Shadow Rave will obviously take out the Schmeagle. That did a decent amount, to be fair. Dragon Breath. If that's on Altaria, that's going to be super effective. No, it's not. It's on Houndoom. I want to be a Houndoom. Is it okay with me? In green. Why does this Schmeagle have loads of grass moves? <laughs> I mean, it suits the team, I suppose, but. Goodbye. Duh. Eagle thinking. Obviously, I didn't expect it to do a lot to the old tower here, to be honest. Right, I am going to risk it for the biscuit here. I'm going to send out Celio, and we'll do Shadow Break on it in the meantime. There's one ice attack and it's dead. Because it'll be, qu it'll be quadruple effective. Dragon Break. What's this one? Oh, ow. This might hurt. Ooh, not, not so much a 40 one. 
And of course it's paralyzed. And of course it can't move. Didio's a fat bastard, so he's gonna go last. Well, before Ataria, but if you're least interested. She should do a lot. Yeah, I don't think it would. Water beam. If this, this this should be a one shot. Kaboom. Yeah it is. See ya. That was an easy belt. <laughs> That's how I'm leveled up. Level up! And Celio leveled up as well. Double up. Lovely jubbly. Dun 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 dun. Oh, Mir Bellens appeared. I ain't going all the way out to fight him again until there is a lift at the halfway point where it goes straight down to the entrance. So I'm going to wait for that to go out again. Because I've just, like, just been out. So, we'll keep going around here. Let's set up a party. Remember, I do have my cheat sheet in case for anybody who is new. Um, so, in the next battle out is. I think our best bet is Houndoom again. It does mean, obviously. Um, pot, I need to full heal of Tari, because I don't want to use a full restore on it. So, for God's sake. Not on God of War, on Altaria. And then super potion up God, um, Altaria. And... 30, and Houndoom. I think he's not going to be much good to us in the next battle. See the so... I'm saving me, uh, me rare candies for when they're needed. Um... Right, for the next ball, I'm going to swap out Houndoom's, um, I think Dark moves. I ain't got anything that boosts a ghost time moves or a chop, no, I haven't yet. Let's just sort them out. Dragon Fang, we do have. Dragon moves, we ain't got any dragon moves, so. Right, we're going to leave it there for new. I ain't got the Emily coin on, I just realised. Well, Aerial Ace won't do as much good in the next battle, so we shall give it that one the Imminent Coin. Yeah, perfect. That's a go. Well, I'm going to go around and get this thing. Three red candies. Wow, that's a good box. Save them for later. Oh, and here comes the big guy. There we go. Cypher Peon Gromlet. These names are interesting. Bennett and Savalai. Okay. Uh, looks like this is going to be a ghost team. That's why I chose Altaria. Houndoom. Oh, Altaria because it's Shadow. It was about the only reason. So, if I am correct, we should be able to believe. I think Face Tag is super effective against Dark is against Ghost. If I'm correct. So, I should be able to use it against Bennett, but Sableye, I'm going to have to use Shadow Break on. And that's why I gave it black glasses. Yes. Oh, why? Why did I have to leave it on one health? Should have used Shadow Ray there, just in case it did that. But I didn't think it would. Well, I didn't think it would do less than Jesus Christ. Sableye just got annihilated. <laughs> okay. Right, see ya. Oh, I think that was a crit. Those clocks, dude. That thing, oh god, uh oh. Like, this shouldn't do a lot. If it hits on Tari, it shouldn't do a lot either. Jesus Christ, that did a lot more than I thought it was going to. Right, so I'm going to faint attack Dust Clops and we're going to use Shadow Rave. Don't know how much this should do on Dust Clops because it is a bit quite powerful. Yeah, not a brilliant attack that wasn't. Shadow Rave. Well, this will take down the bayonet, bayonet anyway. Burnet thing And did about half damage left to Dusclot. Crobat. Okay. Crobat's flying, obviously. Astonish. Well, that's no good in a minute. But right, so we're going to get another attack in. You know, I'm slightly worried that if I use. Shadow Rave is not going to kill Dusclops. Because uh, that's what this game is like. Um, I've got to go for it. I've got to go for it. Shadow Rave. Yeah. 
I think it's faster, of course it is. It could flip. Hopefully on Houndoom. Yeah, it's fine. Because he can survive it. Uh oh. Oof. But we got lucky on that one. Right, hit. Yes! Right, I don't know how much this is going to do because we haven't got charcoal, but. Should do a decent. Yeah, a decent amount. Decent amount, I'll take that. Right, shit. Oh, birds as well, brilliant. Shit, I need this to kill Dustlar so we could be in a bit of trouble here. I didn't think it'd do a lot to him. Yes, it did. I'm getting lucky so far. I'm sure that'll come to an end swiftly. But, <laughs> but, uh, right, so we've got a whale, a whale lord. Whale lord is humongous in this. I need an electric type out. So, uh, uh, how did it's going to get wrecked if I don't put Jolteon out? Altaria's oh, about to die, and I don't think I want to use a revive. So, I don't want to send God of War because she'll probably get one shot. I think we're going to go for a Celio. Celio boy here. This will mean we will take two attacks. Uh, but odds are they won't be able to, they'll be, they'll be aimed at the Pokemon we had out, so they shouldn't do a lot of damage. In theory. But uh, when does my theories ever come true? When it comes to not the game not being rigged. Oh, air core. Both of us. Should do a lot, especially on Jolt. I should do nothing. Yeah, five. Celio might do a little bit. Yeah, about five again. Well, Water Sport. About. Is that the one that, that damages us? Oh, God, it is. That's incredibly powerful. Oof. Yeah, that's really powerful, Water Sport. Water Sport is. So, I need the Thunder to hit, otherwise we're in trouble. Uh, I'm going to Water Gun. No, I'm not, I don't really need to. Or, hmm. Yeah, I'll just walk and crab out to ensure, ensure it goes down, but. Should be both still good here. Yes. Do we need the thunder to hit? Really need the thunder to hit. No! Oh dear. Let's see. Oh my god, Jotun survived. The problem is though, Jot ah, well, that crowbar's down. So, Jotun is faster than the Whale Lord. So, I'm going to take this opportunity. So I'm going to Thunder again on Whale Lord. I'm going to heal up Jotun. Because then Jotun will survive a war sport if he uses it again. And the CDL will go down, but I mean, it's fine. Yes, it hit this time, so it might be good. Depends. Boom. Yes, it's a one shot. I didn't think it would, but it did. Lovely jubbly. Lovely jubbly, here we go. 